So at the end, you have to develop an intuitive understanding of the statistical analysis. So you have to think during the lectures and ask questions if you have something that you don't understand and work on the additional material. And it's very important you have done the assignment okay, for every week because uh, it's very important to help you to understand what you understand, what you don't understand. And also very useful for me to know your progress. So basically, there's a, you learn the statistical concept in the first few weeks. Then after that, for the following weeks, you're going to formulate different research questions, collect data, design experiment, and then do the analysis. So you're going to learn the experiment design while you're doing it. Then after that, you're going to learn different type of analysis okay, for different purposes. So for example, just focus on one t-test. Okay. So for t-test, you're going to learn about two sample t-test, and independent sample, and also the pair sample, and also one sample t-test. And then for each of these, there will be a lecture explain the concept, and also show you a bit about the calculations, additional material, which you might need it to enhance your understanding. And also you will do an assignment for each of these topics. So it's very important that you allocate time every week for this course. And you have to plan your time. All the lectures video will be uploaded before the class. So during the face-to-face -face class, we are going to have a tutorial focusing on the discussion and also the uh, answering your questions. So for the lecture, you must watch the lecture video before come to the class. And also, if possible, start to do your assignment before come to the class. So during the tutorial class, face to face, we can discuss in detail. So make sure you plan your study accordingly. Okay. So this is all the topic you're going to learn. So for the first few weeks, it's more on the concept. In this week, you're going to learn about the importance of statistics in scientific method. And then you learn about the data type, how to organize and summarize your data. You learn about the statistic, descriptive statistic, how to calculate the mean and median, variance, subdivisions. So it's a parameter that you use to describe data. Then after that, we move to the normal distribution and standard normal curve. Based on after this, you learn about the sampling distributions and also the statistical hypothesis. So this is the first part is mainly help you to construct your basic understanding about the important statistical concept, which apply to all the analysis, statistical analysis. Then after that, in each week, you're going to learn different type of analysis. For example, you're going to learn the analysis to analyze the differences between the groups, okay, between symbols. And you also learn the analysis to try to identify the association or relationship between two variables. And at the end, you're going, we're going to summarize, okay, try to put all the assignment that you have done, okay, and discuss an assignment design for different type of research question, and also you're going to repeat all your assignment by using the software. So I show you a few examples of student learning outcomes. So these are the works by your senior. So for example, this is a tutorial one, which you're going to do it later. So in this case, the student will ask to formulate a research question to compare between two groups. Okay, so in this case, uh, they have to ask the questions, is there any differences in the body height between the student from Hanusura, Malaysia, and also East Malaysia. And of course, before you ask a question, you, you have to provide a background okay, to mention why you this question were asked. And after that, you have to make a boss plot okay, for each of this group. Okay. And to make the boss plot, you have to do some calculation. So this is an example of your senior work. So this is tutorial one. Tutorial two, similarly, but this time they ask a question about relationship. They, will, they want to find out, is there any relationship between body height and shoe, shoe size for a number of students? 
it's not necessarily to type all the assignment, you can handwrite and then scan it and submit it as a single file. So this is your senior who performed the analysis to test a hypothesis between, is there any difference between two samples? And this is a tutorial number nine, where you're going to learn how to use a software to do the analysis, okay, of your assignment again. And this is very important because after this course, in the future, you it's more likely that you're going to use the software to do the analysis rather than manual calculation by manual calculation. So at the end, you should be able to do this. You're going to formulate a research questions, perform the analysis, and also going to report the result in the correct manner. Okay, your statistical output, how you're going to report it for different type of analysis, and also show the, the graph that summarize the data. So you're going to use this quite a lot after this course in your lab report and also in your final year project. So you can see different type of graph is to be used for different research questions and different type of data, which we're going to discuss in detail in the next lectures. So we have explained a bit about the lectures, okay? the learning outcome of this course, the delivery approach. It's important that you have to enroll into the smart UMS of this course. And in this course, the content, including the video lectures, the articles, and also the activities, including assignment, discussions, quiz, will be put in this learning management system. So you can go through it by your own, at your own pace, anytime, anywhere. And the syllabus is very important, so make sure you understand all the important topics in this course. So that's all. Thank you.